come and open my new Barbie with me. I got this exciting parcel today. I've been really looking forward to it because finding hearing aids for dolls and dolls, uh, doll, the whole dolls like me thing. It's really exciting. So let's have a look at what we've got. Now this is the new Barbie and I've seen lots of posts on social media about this um, new doll um, because she's the first Barbie to have had ha to have hearing aids. I was really pleased to see that she's um, it's not an extra expensive Barbie. I think she was uh, $13.99 but I'll, I'll put up the um, details from I bought it from Amazon. It's standard and branded Barbie and is part of their um, their diversity range. So we've got all the usual things on the back and you can see the range of, of different body types and um, diverse types. So let's unzip the box and have a look. Oh, it goes high. Let's see if I can get that off. Oh, that's difficult. That's tricky. That's it. Right, so she comes in her own little carry case, which for me is going to be really useful if I'm using her um, when I'm going into schools. So I'm and I'm looking at it and thinking, I think I can get more than one Barbie in that little case. It's nice to have a case that's Barbie sized. So the, this is just an insert. Um, we get the image here where you can see what she looks like. Her illustration. Um, there's not much text that tells you anything about her. Is it for Mattel empowering the next generation through play? Oh, here she is. I just think she's got flat shoes. It's always been a problem with Barbies having the very high heels. Let's see if we can get her out of the box and have a look at her. Oh, pull all these tags. Right, that's the box off. Ooh, she feels a little bit more um, lightweight than the Barbies I'm used to. Oh, her knees don't bend. Oh. Yeah, she's only got one, two, three, four points of articulation plus her head. Okay, so a bit of a bog stand one. And that's going to make it very awkward for her when she sits in the wheelchair because her legs don't bend. Okay, let's have a look at her a little bit more closely. Right, move that out of the way. So there's the big selling point, the hearing aids. Standard behind the, oh, I think they might come off. Oh, now that is exciting. That is really exciting. If her hearing aids actually come off, no, they don't. That's not gonna pull off, but this one. So her hearing aids, I thought her hearing aids were gonna pull off so that I could put them onto another doll because not at all. Children who wear pink hearing aids are white with brown hair. Um, I think that's one of the problems with a lot of the diversity dolls. It, they deal with one diversity at a time. So if you've got a, a very diverse community that I work with, that you could have a white doll with hearing aids or you can have a black doll with afro hair but what if you, you want a black doll with afro hair 
and hearing aids. It's um, and what if she she needs to sit in the wheelchair? Now let's just take it. Now I'm not just stripping this doll for for pleasure. I actually want to see what her body shape is. Oh, it's actually a very childlike body shape. Very thick waist with uh, quite young bust. Nice moulded pants. Uh, knickers. Let's have a, oh, she's got flat feet. Uh, so one of the things that I've criticised um, criticised Barbies for before is having that very pointed toe. And she's got a foot at a right angle, which means I guess she can stand. But overall, whilst it's lovely to see hearing aids on a Barbie, actually, I don't know the bod the head. I don't know if the head belongs with the body. It's it seems older than the body, but. Well, I suppose you could take the head off and put it on another Barbie if you wanted that um, fashion doll figure. But this figure also means that she's probably not going to fit other clothes, which is a shame. Um, because I've got other Barbie clothes and some some that were designed for Cindy's and more generic teen dolls. So. Let's put her back into her dress, which of course is hard because her elbows don't bend. And the one thing I was th hoping for from her was a, was a doll with more articulation. Uh, because one of the things I, I find frustrating about the Lottie dolls that I use a lot in my work is that they, they don't have many points of articulation. So, hmm. So overall... A nice addition to my um, kit bag, but not without its issues. Now, do the boots have a sight? Yeah. Um, I wonder how she compares with other Barbies. But that's that's the new Barbie with hearing aids. At least they haven't done that thing where they give her a different name. In fact, they haven't named her at all. I'm sure I remember the packaging being much more um, interesting than this though. Very, very basic packaging. But I guess in a way quite eco-friendly. You've got a, um, recyclable cardboards and then you've got this actually rather nice zipped bag. Um, obviously a branded zipped bag which we can put her back in. And she's probably going to get squashed in there with some some other Barbies at some point or possibly with um, some Lottie dolls and it's quite nice to have a box um, a bag that fits them uh, I think I'm probably be able to fit quite a few clothes in there as well but there it is that's the new Barbie with hearing aids doll there's very little articulation and very little in play play value and movement but a nice doll as part of this um, diverse range that is um, less standard I think this doll very much is aimed at children with a collection of Barbies rather than at um, children who want something that represents them personally it's so important that children have a diverse range of representations within their toys. One of the ways that Barbie is remaining relevant and useful to our children is by changing and becoming more diverse and I really welcome that. So what do you think? Is this a welcome addition to every toy box? Or do you think it's just capitalism? Please comment, like and subscribe and all that good stuff down below. 
but I'd love to hear if there's other toys and books you'd like to see reviewed. Thanks for listening. Bye.